With Automation 360 version 30, Process Composer gains key functionalities to orchestrate complex processes spanning multiple users and requiring complex handoffs like multi-user approvals. This enables customers to automate complex processes with handoffs and approvals with ease in a single process and increase operational productivity. Let's see how this works. Bria is a reception clerk in a distribution center of a large retailer. Hundreds of trucks unload fresh ingredients there every day. Efficient, fast, and reliable reception is a key factor of the company's productivity. Thomas is the warehouse manager, responsible for overseeing Bria and other reception clerks. Bria starts her day by logging into her warehouse application, SAP. As a driver comes in to get proof of delivery and relevant stamps, she opens her automation co-pilot and selects the reception flow automation. She provides all required inputs to start the process, such as driver's ID, truck ID, and more importantly, the purchase order number. She then uploads the bill of lading she just scanned and launches the process. Right away, the automation starts by sending the bill of lading to document automation in order to extract all key information from it. Then when done, the automation connects to Salesforce using an API task, locates the purchase order and retrieves all the information from the record. Previously, Bria used to execute all those tasks manually, which was very error prone, leading to delays for the driver. Now that all data and context is gathered in the automation platform, a form is displayed back to Bria to analyze the differences between quantities purchased and received. The automation has already highlighted line items in overage or shortage, saving her time and reducing the risk. As she sees two line items with discrepancies inside the tolerance zone, she decides to move the process forward and send the reception to Thomas for approval. Thomas is having a discussion with a colleague on Microsoft Teams, one of his most used applications. As soon as Bria sent the approval request, Thomas is notified in a dedicated channel about the pending approval. There, he can see some of the key information and can open the task in his Automation Copilot. Without leaving his application, Thomas is directed to the Approval task, where he parses the form displaying overage and shortage amounts. To help Thomas in his decision, the reception data was sent to a generative AI LLM model, and a recommendation has been generated. Thomas decides to approve the reception given the quantities and AI recommendation. Now that the approval has been confirmed, the process can resume by automating tedious tasks such as creating a claim in Salesforce for the purchase department and finally generating a proof of delivery for the driver. As the automation unfolds, Bria is presented with a QR code and can show it to the driver for scanning and delivery acceptance. In just a few minutes, Bria was able to execute a complex process that included an approval handoff and prompt notifications. How was this accomplished? Let's see how Marcus, a process expert and builder, is making use of the newly added approval task capability with an Automation 360 Process Composer. Marcus opens the reception flow process that helped Bria and Thomas expedite the goods reception earlier. There within an intuitive, no-code interface, the entire business process has been modeled. We can see the seamless orchestration of automated tasks such as bots, APIs, and document automation, along with the approval task. The approval task can be finely configured to cater to stringent business requirements and policy. Here we can see that Marcus defined the requester of the task, in this case Bria, giving her visibility over the completion of the task. He also configured the assignee responsible for approving, in that case Thomas. No more complex configuration with the new release of Automation 360 version 30. Multiple teams and users can be targeted directly within a single business process. The approval task can also accept advanced parameters such as timeouts to enforce SLA, as well as enable multiple users to approve at the same time when more than one approval is required. The outcome of the automated tasks, especially the extracted data and automatic recommendation generated by AI, can be mapped to rich forms for Thomas to review and approve. Speaking of which, Marcus can preview the form that will be displayed to the approvers. The forms are built using a no-code interface within Automation 360, allowing for ease of use and seamless integration. 
As a result of these enhancements to the Process Composer, developers like Marcus can automate complex workflows with multi-user approvals and handoffs with ease, so that users like Bria and Thomas can be more productive.